Welcome back to Team Fast Eddie and HPIBajaTutorials.com. Today we're going to install the Turtle Racing Heavy Duty Clutch System on an HPI Baja SS. We're going to go through the highlights and what it takes to properly install the system. So go ahead and get your Baja ready and we're going to go ahead and uh, walk you through it step by step. The first step is going to be to remove the gear plate cover. Let's go ahead and remove the cover. We can get started from here. We're going to go ahead and uh, set all of our pieces to the side and we'll reuse what we need to reuse and we'll go ahead and discard what we don't need. Uh, at this point, let's go ahead and remove the pinion gear and the spur gear. We're going to do that and be right back. Now that the two gears are removed, we're going to go ahead and remove the small rubber plugs from the existing plate. Uh, we are going to go ahead and reuse those. Let's go ahead and remove the brake cover here. We're going to go ahead and reuse that in a little bit. And we're also going to remove the spur spacer as well and set that aside for reuse. At this point we're going to go ahead and remove the plate. We're going to remove the four existing screws that are in there. Got all the screws out so let's go ahead and pull the plate off just like that. We're going to go ahead and set that aside as well. The next part we're going to concentrate on is to be removing the clutch holder assembly that's currently in position and to do that we will need to loosen up the side brace plate and we will also need to take out the screws here, here, and here in order to remove this whole unit. We have all the screws removed so we're going to go ahead and let the side plate fall down hold it out of the way and we're going to go ahead and remove the clutch carrier and the clutch bell which actually is still being held in there a little bit so we're going to go ahead and remove the this portion of the uh, top plate and brake assembly as well that's very simple to do we're going to go ahead and remove the three screws that are on the top which are these two longer screws and the screw in back. When these two screws are loose we can go ahead and drop down the bearing holder. Go ahead and slide off the top cap and the bearing as well which we will not be reusing. and the clutch bell will slide right out. The next thing that we need to do is to remove this small brace here. And to remove that brace is actually quite a job. We're going to have to go ahead and loosen up this screw here, which is the third one on the top of the brake brace. We're also going to have to loosen up the four screws that hold on to the top plate. You don't have to remove the whole top plate, but we do need to loosen it up enough to lift it and to get this little plastic brace out. So we're going to go ahead and loosen the screws up and we'll be right back. Alright, all the screws are loose now, so we're going to go ahead and take off the brake assembly. Take out the two long screws, which we'll be not reusing. Go ahead and take out the brake assembly. And just for good measure, we're going to take the brake discs out just to make it a little bit easier. At this point, we're going to go ahead and loosen the bolt that holds the side brace on. Maybe we're going to loosen it. There we go. Going to go ahead and take out the screw. going to lift up on the plate here and 
and the bracket is going to go ahead and slide out and we will not be reusing this bracket. At this point we are pretty much ready to go ahead and install the turtle clutch system. Well after fooling around for a little bit uh, trying to get the plate on and off we found that it is actually much easier to install the plate if we go ahead and remove the brake hex as well. There's a single screw that goes through the shaft. Let's go ahead and remove that screw and go ahead and pull off the brake hex. At this point we're going to go ahead and install the clutch carrier and cover. The first thing that we want to do is go ahead and slide the bell inside the holder and we're going to align this brace to the side of the vehicle. So it's going to go on basically just like this. You're going to have to reach down and you're going to have to pull up somewhat on your plate, on your rear plate, that's why we loosened it up and it takes a little bit of jiggling to get everything in there and together just make sure that all the screws on your top plate here are all the way loose because you don't want to bend the plate as you're lifting up on it you just want to move it up out of the way so we're going to go ahead and fumble our way through this it, it slides on fairly easy at this point and then it's just a matter of, of putting it in and turning it until it slides on um, from here we're going to also want to make sure that we fully seat our top plate back down again. Make sure it's completely seated before we start putting screws in. You should have received two bags of screws along with your kit. One bag has the pinion bolt in it as well as the screws that are used for the carrier. And the second bag has the screws that are used for the gear plate and the brake. So we're going to go ahead and grab the bag that has the larger of the screws in there and we're going to use those screws to mount our our clutch holder. At this point we're going to go ahead and reattach our brace which goes on the front in the kit of screws that you received from Turtle Racing. We're going to go ahead and use the longest of the round top screws and that's going to go ahead and be used in the top area with the brace. You do want to make sure that you use Loctite on all of your screws because these are a metal to metal connection and you don't want them to back out. So we're going to go ahead and install the first and the longest screw on the top. The absolute shortest screw in the kit and again, you're going to want to use Loctite on your screws. The shortest one goes in the bottom left hand corner. And then the two remaining screws are going to go caddy corner in the bottom right. And on the top left. Also, don't forget to put your screws back into the brace over here.